Hello again. So happy you could join me on this beautiful day. I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. What I got going on here today is a pre-stretched canvas 16 by 20. Spray painted it with your local ceramic hardware spray paint. Different colors. Put a painter's tape there for the horizon. I'm going to do a beach scene again. And uh, I loaded it up with a thin coat of liquid clear. This is going to help the oils to go on a lot smoother and it'll help you work with it a lot easier and uh, I'd like to thank all my subscribers and all my viewers for watching all my videos I'll keep painting them as I go along and I hope you keep watching and maybe join along with me and any colors and any information you'll need to paint along with me will come across the screen right about here so like I said I already loaded it up with some liquid clear we'll go on to this fan brush here we'll get some white white for the sky put some clouds in load it just like that who knows maybe our clouds will start here but we'll make a big cloud One great big one. Maybe it goes right back into the yellow. Maybe it goes all the way down. Load up some more white. First, we're going to come in and tap that. Take this blender brush and use just that corner there. I'm going to soften this edge up. Get different layers going on in the sky with your clouds. Maybe there's something here. Blender brush, tapping it. Come back into more white. Circular motions. That's what I'm doing. of different things happening because that's the way the clouds are if you look at it in nature in the sky there's really no set pattern for the clouds they're like all over the place blender brush again tapping that back get all that fluffy different layers going on that you see in the sky. Maybe it's you got that coming in front of there. those different layers using the different shades of white you can put things in front of other things maybe that one goes off to the side there Load 
it up with some more Okay, it goes all the way all the way through the horizon maybe now it's a good time to put some seagulls in use some odorless paint thinner to thin some of the white out makes it easier to go on just a little brush just like that maybe there's a seagull right here Add a little bit of black to it, just on the edges. Where they have it under wings. Have some of that black marking. A little bit on their their beaks. Or wherever you're painting. I use odorless paint thinner. I'll come in. Get some of that going there. Now we'll get some water coming in here. You can use some yellows. A little roll of paint. Here we'll start just below, just below the horizon. Add a little bit of white, lighten it up some. it here and there get that glistening get some of the waves crashing in wavy watery lines and we will come into some more white make it even whiter
that going on. Come into the fan brush. Start fanning some of this stuff out here. certain spots. hitting and missing. Going to some more white. I'm going to highlight this more. Right back here. Right back where we think it might be. I think it might be a little lighter, a little whiter. Take a blender brush, just slightly go across. water. That's what we're looking for. A little bit brighter I think. white simply right in here blender brush it where the waves are coming in.
keep going back and forth with your blender brush. Your palette knife. Okay, you get those shadows, those shades, the water line you're looking for. I think we're going to come into some just some white now. A little bit of water breaking down here. Right where the golf is. Right where it comes down to the beach. Maybe it's all foamy there. So you got to have all that look. All I'm doing is kind of scraping it in. Scraping it in, pulling it back. Get some yellows in there. From it highlighting off of the water. Some yellow. water line and we'll come in to oh, let's see probably this brush here we used get some whites going on maybe some yellows who knows just like that I'm gonna tap this tap this water this edge here Or you might have some of the water coming in. It's kind of rough. Or it's turning over. Get that ripply look by just tapping this. And then you'll come in and we'll blend it in. Oh, that goes all the way down. That'd be a beach there. Now we'll take the fan brush and we'll fan it back. Give that wave look. Maybe foamy look. Maybe that foamy look. Who knows? We're going to have a beach here, so.
Maybe it looks like there's maybe some waves crashing over right there. And pull that back. Another set of waves. Another set going right there. Kind of crashing in. Okay, we'll take some yellows now. Come in with the reflection of the water. here and there. Maybe some whites. Take the blender brush, come in and pull down. go across kind of gives it that glistening wet look that you're looking for maybe grab it some yellow maybe we can put another little water line in here Just here and there. Maybe we can just pull that back. <clears throat> kind of soften it. into some white and on that edge. that 
foamy stuff going all the way back to the other way. yellow right in here right where you think right where you think the reflection would be go back and forth till you get that look. And I think that's the look. So, what if, gotta come into some beach, beachy, sandy, who knows. Maybe put some palm trees this, in this one. Come into some colors just like that. Maybe we'll come in and we'll tap. We'll come in and we'll tap. I'm going to cover up that highlight there we did.
then we'll come into some whites and browns. Lighten it up. Lighten it up the brown areas there for the beach. Come into some tapping. Be right on this edge here. Back there. Who knows, maybe that's all highlighted right across the front here. Come into the blender brush. Tapping it. Tapping it, you could pull it. It gives it more of a, maybe of a sandy look. Some more whites, I think. Clean the pan brush off. Go on to some whites. Make it more of a white. A white sandy beach. Some highlighted areas. Hitting, you can make another peninsula or a little hill there. Clean off the blender brush. So we come into just more of the whiter. that back. Maybe that goes right down. It's all blended back right here. Maybe that's all. Got some things happening on that hill there. But, what I see, I'm not sure if I like that hill. I'm going to add some more color. I'm going to bring this down, just like that. Just like that. Come into white. I like that edge. Blender brush. And it brings that all right together. Just the way we want it. Got some hills there in the back. We'll highlight that. We'll highlight that a little more. 
that stand out. Looks pretty good. I'm going to clean this brush off, I think. The one we had the dark on. Use the two inch brush here, get some liquid clear, thin it out, grab some greens, some browns maybe, get a darker color I think, different things happening right on the brush. You can pull it one direction. Different greens, sap green, phthalo green, brown. Round it out, just like that. We're going to come in and we're going to tap some greenery in here. Maybe right here. Just pushing up. I don't want to do too much because I don't want to take that reflection away over there. That we work. That we work to get. Picked up a hair there. Just take the edge of the brush here and pull up. Kind of takes it away. here we can have something I kind of like that wave coming in right there so and you can kind of block what you want and leave the other stuff who knows maybe we got some big things happening up here you think. Wherever you think you might want some grassy stuff to grow, you can make it happen. It's your world. Okay, now I'm going to take the blender brush and come in and blend this in. Get some shadows and things happening grassy areas that came down off of the off of that grassy stuff we just put down the beach grass is what I'll call it
automatically have some shadows there. Maybe even some more grassy areas too. with some different baby browns. Baby browns. Get a little roll of paint around the edge. And you can come in here and scrape some things in. Different twigs and who knows. bit of yellow. Can you use the other add and to the chisel edge? come into some smaller grassy areas that you might want to get. Highlight. wiping the brush, the palette knife off and picking up some more yellows. Right where you think it might be highlighting it coming through. Okay, we got that happening. I think we can come into some brown color. some paint thinner. Load it right up. Put some palm trees in. Just like that. Maybe we can have one right here. A palm tree right right now.
maybe we can have a little one right out here. A little peninsula. Right down into the grassy area. into the palette knife. Use some white, maybe some yellows for a highlight. Oh, who knows? I just tap this. We'll just tap this in and we'll pull it. Pull it around. Get that book. Okay. Take this brush here. We'll start pulling it. circular motion. Just the way it would look. Wipe off that excess. All that brown we got going on there. Pull some white. some white all the way up. Keep wiping that brush off to just get mostly white for the highlight. Okay, we'll start on the leaves now, using the fan brush. Liquid clear and greens. Browns, different shades of green. Liquid clear. Just like that. Now we'll come in. And we're just tapping this. Maybe it goes right down into the grassy area. It does now. <laughs> like I said, it's your world. Now we're going to take the edge and just tap some of the ranchy parts that will come off of it. And individually. Tap. 
cap it for each one. Then you get that look you're looking for. Come the other way. Tap and push down. Maybe some of this goes up there. Almost right by the seagulls. tap as much as you want to get the look you're looking for. The fullness. The realness. up some more colors for the next tree in the back there. Maybe this tree is up here higher. Maybe it's got a few that come down. Just like that. Do the same thing. Tapping it. See, so get that look you're looking for. All the branches coming off. might highlight that with some lighter colors. But I'm not sure yet. I have to step back and take a look at it. See what we got. See if it's what I'm looking for. doing is tapping. Filling that all in. Giving it the palmy look. The palmy beachy. Well, I think what I'm going to do now is take that same brush, load it up with some browns, and come in here and tap right in here the way the palm trees usually got some stuff going on in there. A little bit fuller stuff. Well, looks like that's a completed painting. I'm going to go ahead and sign it. And, uh, like always, I like signing my name with my last name. Some people like using their initials. I also like to put in the year. Gives you a good idea of what you were thinking, what was on your mind at the time, and 
your progress as you go along. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you're painting along with me and I hope you come back real soon.